hope you're all doing good and great. Your sessions, especially the morning ones, your amazing sprints, your tests, your bio bombs, your bio thoughts, your bio lingos, your one dictionaries, and the most amazing, fun filled fry. Everything is going as we planned for you and as you are totally loving it, we brought another super cool episode of Biobomb. This episode is part 50. So come on, pat your back everybody. We've already done 50 Biobombs. These super micro, absolutely mini capsules of information only brought for you on skeletal muscle today. So there are various types of muscles. Let's broadly classify muscles into three types. Cardiac muscle, which has got the intercalated disc, which is between a skeletal and a smooth muscle. Your spindle shape, smooth muscle with a central nuclei. And today's topic, the skeletal muscle. So as you can very clearly see from this diagram, skeletal muscle is elongated, cylindrical shape. So it's an elongated cylindrical shaped muscle. It's got peripheral nuclei, you can all see. So let's write it down. It is an elongated, long, as well as a cylindrical shaped muscle. It's got a peripheral nucleus. It's multinucleated and it's got striations or these bands made up of actin and myosin. You also have the Sliding filament theory, actin, myosin, troponin, tropomyosin, which I will do in some other biobomb to show how the skeletal muscle functions. It is absolutely voluntary. That means it is under your control. You also have an end plate potential. That means the nerve, which is coming when the muscle is innervated, we call it end plate potential. So skeletal muscles can be controlled by conscious effort. Let me call this by the word voluntary. And are called voluntary muscles. The cells or the muscle fibers are long. I have told you about cylindrical, thread-like. In ke pas dark or light bands hote hai. The dark bands as well as the light bands. So actin, myosin, isotropic, anisotropic. Yeh sare bands hote. Details of sarcomere. I'm going to do it very very soon. Sarcomere is from one Z line to another Z line. Is the smallest contractile unit of a skeletal muscle. So these bands are called striations which are made up of actin and myosin. Each fiber has many nuclei located near the cell membrane. So I just told you multinucleated. And ye jo membrane hai, suppose this is the membrane of the muscle. It goes inside. Right? So these are referred to as T tubules. The endoplasmic reticulum of the skeletal muscle is called endoplasmic reticulum. The cytoplasm of skeletal muscle is called a sarcoplasm. Is it clear? And the plasma membrane of the skeletal muscle is called a sarcolemma. So, so much of information on one biobomb. It functions for voluntarily controlling the movement of the body. So, with that, we come to the end of another absolutely informative, super cool biobomb. See you in the next class. On behalf of my entire team, bye bye. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.